about to say something stupid. Let me just move on. <laughs> this guy brought up Korean barbecue. I try to stay away from that shit. Korean barbecue. Yeah, they took over my neighborhood. I don't want to piss people off. All right. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But while I'm at it, I will. <laughs> so a friend of mine went to Korea, and he said that. You know, eating do- man's best friend's a normal fucking thing. Like you could go to, you could go to a restaurant, like an exotic one, and they give you a menu of what type of dog. Fucking, I'll be like, I, I would be fucking so, I'd be devastated. I love fucking that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, what do you think's gonna happen if we really were face to face? I choke your dog and beat the fucking dick out of you. <laughs> hey, what do you think's gonna happen if we really were face to face? I choke your dog and beat the fucking dick out of you. <laughs> Hey, what do you think's gonna happen if we really were face to face? I choke your dog and beat the fucking dick out of you. <laughs> hey, what do you think's gonna happen if we really were face to face? I choke your dog and beat the fucking dick out of you. <laughs> oh, what's that the kid? He's pretty good, actually. Uh, we don't see eye to eye, but uh, he he does a lot of stuff on the John A. Like facts. Oh, Chris Casparosa. I had him. Yes, on. read his stories, man. But who's that? I would love to run into you one on one. I don't even know. You know, I would like to run into that MRE guy. I would love to run into him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. blame you. <laughs> I'm not violent, but if I was, I would like to run it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people would. He's a he's yeah. a jerk off of the highest magnitude, without All a right. doubt. Fuck it up. Yeah. Uh, Anti-Semite. I mean, I don't, I don't know why that's so cool and everything like that. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, These guys flipping. I, I don't buy, like, it's a little bigger. I, I don't know the psychology, yeah. the psychology yeah. between people who flip. I don't I know me. You know what I mean? Um, did I think I was ever gonna flip? No, 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 no. Um, I know there's people out there that I get to me and they're like, I would like to ask him what made him flip because they didn't think I was gonna flip. Yeah. It's like old friends of mine that want to ask that question, and and I don't know. I mean, and I tell everybody too. I said this a lot. People are gonna say I'm repeating myself. I like jail. Jail was fun. It was like hanging out in the coffee shop with my friends. We played cards. I played ball. I had a good time. There was no yeah. pussy. I get it. But that was the reason, I mean, you know, I flipped, okay? So, but, uh, but you I see, like but So, so I, I, I always try I didn't to... cry and blow no snot bubbles. I wasn't yeah. on the phone when, when, when my girlfriend told me she couldn't see me no more. Yeah. I like Jill. That somebody wants to prove that his numbers is the best show and everything. And I'm not saying... I'm not putting down his numbers or even going to go after that. Matter of fact, you know, just because you're, let's say you write a pop song. I, I know that all that matters to people. Let's say you write a pop song and a pop song is top 40 and it's popular. And, and, and you know, it's uh, Britney Spears for argument's sake. Britney Spears is not a better musician than somebody who fucking is a studio musician and plays the stuff that knows the stuff. They just got lucky with a song. And, and, and that's how it is with the numbers. You know what I mean? If, get lucky you get lucky that's just how it is but what's your knowledge and everything like that and that's why i'm i'm putting people up to a test if they're down if you think your knowledge i want to have a trivia mom trivia like a one-on-one we're going to talk about people places um you know mostly historical stuff uh like i'll name a, a member you got to name a family or a date to to an event Something like that, like a Jeopardy or all you fucking wanna be mob creators, content motherfuckers, stop calling me. Don't call me, no fucking uh, taxes no more. You're not getting an interview unless you have a checkbook, alright? So stop. That's right, no more free lunches for anybody. Which reminds me. Um and, and he didn't pay, he's a good guy. I don't know where I started uh what where I went back. I was doing okay in school, I wasn't the best student, I was playing sports, whatever. Um, and the kid looked at me and said, it's when you started working at the coffee shop. That's what explain, happened. And see, explain to people what these coffee shops were, because people think we're talking about regular coffee shops. No, you're not going in there. Um, basically, they're open for, they're, their front is, an, they open for, for, for the public just to make it look like they're a, a legitimate business. But then you have the members only or private staff only mm-hmm. in the back, and they play cards. There's the um, slot machines slash joker pokers in the back card games going on all that and two it's a meeting place for guys to, to scheme all fucking that that's what we used to do mm. you know at 13 i was making 100 120 dollars a day you know that's a lot of money back then um exactly on, on, on a bad day on a good hmm. day i was um shit 300 whatever wow. and th- i would make that three four five days a week um 
go to school, but half of the time I fell asleep in class because I was out doing whatever I had to do, and I was really flunking out. And um, right, it, you know, it, it was double-edged sword, if you will, you know. So, so that was going on, and then we would scheme as we got older. That that's that's we wanted to do what the big guys were doing. I mean, People, I got a lot of shit. People call me up because anyway, I don't know where this is. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, the West Side, how many informants do they have? Or the West Side, how strong are they? So, like, yeah. people are not the hustle, but they're also the strongest Borgata. So, you know what I mean? They are the yeah. Ivy League, absolutely. Yes, they, they are. are. They, you know, they, and they're still intact. I mean, they never had any decimated cases to them. Bad. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They're. Uh, you know, so I mean, and they're still powerful today. And they're doing something. Near right. their bosses, you can't get near their bosses, and they put up dummies to become bosses. And the dummies they put up run around like they're fucking Al Capone, and they end up getting indicted. And that's yeah, what they I know. And I know a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Frank, yeah. real quick. Um, what? Imagine real quick, you're in the street, right? And the old school Sicilian guys, you know. The whole stripping thing. Did they ever hear? Because I remember um, as a civilian uh, reading in the New York Post, it got caught that, oh, now they're making guys in their underwear. They caught, you know, some of the Genovese guys. Listen, 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 listen good. I learned about making ceremonies in fucking mob books, okay? Yeah. No Sicilian old guys talked about that shit. Okay. They, they, I never, I didn't even, even heard the word mafia. You know, yeah. uh, we were you here to you like Cristiano Bono. That's a good guy. That's a good yeah. old man. This yeah. and that. That's about it. No, no, no. This whole shit came about blowing up in 1985 when fucking John Gotti took it to the moon. Okay, but before that, shit was really, really uh, secretive. Okay, yeah. and, and and as far as that, back to like the making ceremony. I had a, a, a very dear friend of mine, one of my best friends at the time. He had. Like like Anthony, he had gotten made, but he was like, man, I don't know if I really wanted this to begin with. So he comes up to me. Um, I'm not gonna mention him because he's still acting. Um, he goes, uh, you know, I, I know you probably heard it around. He's fucking with me. He goes, I mean, you know, I got, I got, uh, you know. So I go straight now. Yes, so, so uh, we're we're left. We have that conference with each other. Okay, yeah. we have that that good ends, you know. He goes, eh. I said, what? What happened? He goes, it wasn't all that. He goes, he goes, they drove me to the fucking end of the LIE. They looked at me. He goes, he told me this. He goes, your cousin was there too. And he said, both of you guys are now this. Don't tell nobody yet. And that was it. And they got in the car. They left. This was Joe Messino's fucking, uh, we'll get to him. <laughs> this was Joe Messino's mafia, okay? And I said, that's it? You took that whole fucking... That 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 lore, that whole ceremony, uh, it was like to me, it was like getting laid for the first time, you know. And I just, he just, I, that was just fucked me up. I thought he was fucking with me, right? So I go, how did you know your friend was me? What time the government said? Yeah, as far as that, I said he told me. He goes, he told you? I go, yeah. And who was there? I said James Attagli, all the Salvatali. They went to the other. They didn't talk. The kids didn't talk. We got made. But the other. Right. Um, what was some of your first? I guess entries into the more you know risque parts of the organization of the, of the life. Um, just proving myself that I was able to kill somebody. Right. You know, and um, after that, people started just noticing certain things. I mean, it was I was part of it was it was a murder that didn't go down too uh, discreet, let's say, and people yeah. found out about it. Then they they started putting two two together. I might have had something to do with it because right. by then. I was a little bit hands on, you know, the right. violent side and everything. God. Oh. Yeah, what am I, a rat you like you? You want me to tell like you who I know? Oh, here we go with this shit. Fish, no. fish, shit. They're fish. making that fish. 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 Don't Frank fish, fish. He's my me. friend. He's gun smoked friend. He's my friend. Yeah, why do you gotta do that shit, man, on my fucking show? Come on, man. You know, I don't like this fucking prick that. No, you don't. I don't blame you. I like I wouldn't you. like me. I like you enough to meet you. Nah, yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to drink the coffee. <laughs> All right. I'm a coffee boy. Yeah, you don't want to meet me. Coffee. Well, we can I make like coffee rat. meet. I, I never did. I never will. We just spoke You're about a this fucking earlier. Fucking wacky cocksucker. Yeah, who'd I rat on? 
Well, if you're hiding behind a fucking you, your name, you're right. I, I'm you not hiding behind a name. Everyone okay, knows I'm who like I am. You. Gunsmoker knows who I am. Okay. Everyone knows where I'm from. You could no actually secret. say, there's an address to your name. Can you say that? No, nobody from my neighborhood <laughs> wrote books and shit. <laughs> that, you know, uh -huh. I don't know what to tell you, pal. Pal, don't pal me, fuck. Where you go fishing with me or Jimmy Clegg? I go fishing by myself. Yeah, of course, because that fucking, uh, what a life. fucking, uh, we're afraid of your ass. I don't fish with rats. I with that cycle thing. Yeah. You went out to eat and fucking had to pull one one of those, like, uh, look over there when she looked and just ran out of place. <laughs> you played the old switcheroo in there, huh? Yeah, look yeah, and, there. Then, and, then, and where are you, then she was attack, where are you, bitch? I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking cursing the storm like that. People looking all over the place. I don't need that shit. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, I knew. Oh, a then I just like fucking. That. I mean, hot, hot chick and everything like that. <clears> fucking yeah. around with her for like I don't know, on and off for a lot long time. Just fucking psycho. Just psycho. Yeah, I've dealt with a few of those. You know, you take them out there. They talk loud. They're, they're obnoxious. Well, they could get the you into a couple about it is I wouldn't. I wouldn't fuck with her if she was like when when she's not drinking. I have to have a fucking margarita the size of a fucking head. <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, she's okay. She's not bad. She's cool, actually. But yeah. I told her, you're drinking? Yeah. Yeah. She goes, yeah, I am. I'm like, that's what I should have said. I'm staying home. You sound you know? like you're annoyed with this broad. You're annoyed. I, until I see her again. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those deals. What's going on? I don't know, man. Fucking, I, I, I've seen somebody make a statement uh -oh. about me. And... I kind of like, you know, I don't bother this woman. I never say anything about her. Matter of fact, when she's brought up, sometimes I ease tensions with other people. Yeah. But, but now she's comparing me to a fucking Nazi. Yeah, they, I saw uh, that. That's guy was threatening to fucking blow up a synagogue, even though he didn't carry it out, but he threatened it. Uh, someone who has Hitler, she's comparing me to that. Just because I made the fucking big, 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 big fucking mistake in life that I think about and I regret. You know, that's one of the things I regret, you know, uh, doing. My life think about that shit all the time. And you wanna and you wanna compare nobody bothers you, woman. But you know what? I think about it where it, where it's coming from. You're you you're ignorant, you're illiterate. How about that? You didn't think I was gonna say, all right? You just don't make sense when you speak. How can you compare a crime on crime, even though it, it was heinous and all that, I get that, to Someone who doesn't want to annihilate people just for who they are, okay? Um, a, a good Jew is a dead Jew, according to this motherfucker, okay? Uh, this, this is the piece of shit you're comparing me to? Yeah. You have to be... I'm telling you, you, what you need to do next time, instead of grabbing your daughter and running to Penn Station and picking this fucking idiot up like you did, so she can meet him... Take a ride to the Washington D.C. the Holocaust Museum. I've done that, and you and I guarantee you, you you wouldn't be freaking even mentioning this guy in the same in the same breath. Shame on you. Shame on you. The way the parliament works is like it's not like a uh, you win, winner takes all. Like in the U.S., like it's like you win, but like the vice president could be another party. But I have a cousin in Italy. He's actually a communist. The PSI. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Definitely. Um. It's been there. It still is there. Um, but at, at one time they're no longer a threat. When they were a threat, we were back. The mob was back to the CIA, and the CIA and the CIA um, come ninety ninety one, they were like, "You guys are on your own now. We we don't need you." And um, the Italians started cracking down. Uh, the the government the, the started cracking down on the mob. Uh, quick question. We'll be wrapping up. So Big G, thank you. Uh, Frank, can you say that you're going to talk to the government, but take it take it back? Or are you still considered a rat? You always considered a rat, and and I, I always bring this to mind because there's always somebody that brings, that that comes up in that conversation, and I don't want to bring it up because it's not my business. Yeah. Um. I, when I was Italians by nature, are very jealous people, and 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 when we used to be in MDC, and some guy used to come in. We used to take bets on if he'd flip or not. They probably took bets on me when I came up. Yeah. And already we were hating on the guy. Instead of like farting and, and saying, hey, dude, 
calm down. Don't worry about it. You know, it's going to be okay. Don't listen to what the government's saying. We're like, ah, well, he's with the Columbos anyway. You know what? Fuck them. Let's see if we can freaking get up to flip. Because I don't like half of those guys anyway. <laughs> we do that. We do that. Believe that. So, the minute we find out a guy has probably had that little um, change of heart or uh, a weak moment, and we find out about it, we never let it go. Yeah. We're like, ah, his mind was there anywhere. Okay, uh, unlike like the African Americans, for example, I knew guys that went into interrogations and then came back and said, you know what, fuck it, I had a weak moment. And 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 they, and they, and, they, and their friends are like, you know what? At least they ain't telling on us no more. He had a bad day, and they take him in. They're not happy, but they take him in. They knew he's not gonna tell on them. He, you know, now he ain't sitting on them. We don't do that. We're like, fuck him. We don't want him to sit with us no more. <laughs> this and that. And so, yeah, no, we don't. We don't take him back. Once we find out, it's just us. We're jealous people. We're Italian. Were you uh, surprised about Scarpa? I know it was a little before your time, but... I didn't know him. I didn't know nothing to be surprised about. But uh, reading his whole history and who he is and everything like that, um, yeah, I mean, shit. If I was Greg Scarpa, I wouldn't have ratted. 